Who? The greatest of all time, Speedy B F7 V3 50 amp stack. Who? Now this is the real flagship stack. Okay, Speedy B F7 V3 BL3250 amp 30 by 30 stack. The beautiful V3, the king of kings. Let's see what they have in store for us. Okay, first things first, let's look at the flight controller with the F722, right? It supports eight motors. And then, of course, it has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth, great. You can analyze your backbot flight data when you have Wi-Fi. You can't do that with just Bluetooth only. It has huge 500 megabyte storage. This is what it says here. Let's look at that, 512 megabyte. So if you are a black box lover like me, so you will be able to just fill that in with all the data that you need in order to tune your quad to perfection. This is like 16 times, one six times bigger than the closest rival. So this is a magnificent addition, right? You can get this. Obviously this flight controller is not cheap, but then again, it's fully packed, the greatest of all time, okay? Okay, so this is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip, and this is what differentiates PDB from everybody else, okay? And what that means is it has enough connectivity to actually be able to allow you to flash firmware to do everything you need with the ESCs, whether it's BlueJ, BL32, or BL Heli S, and you can change all the directions for motors, you can do anything that you need, and of course, the best thing is with the 512 megabyte onboard black box, you can now check and modify or tune your quad with the black box data any time of day, anywhere you are, doesn't matter. You can just do that wirelessly. Okay, let's look at the electronics. What else do we have? Okay, it has its um, barometer. Okay, it has its barometer. And then it has two individual BECs, nine volts and then five volts, two amps each. Well, the nine volt is actually four amps, so they can actually drive not just DKI, but also HD0. HD0, the uh, one watt BTX takes a lot of amps, okay? So it also has 4.5 volts, let me check, for your GPS, 4.5 SDA SCL. So this is where you connect your GPS. This is where you connect your VTX. This is where you connect your camera. You have camera control too, if you needed, if you needed that. I think SpeedyB works with one cam. This is where you connect your RC link. That will be um, using 3.3 for Spectrum or 4.5 for FreeSky or um, Express RS Tracer or Crossfire. Okay, this is where you connect. And this is where you would connect the, other than the connector for the ESC, you would then also be able to connect to Moto 5, Moto 6, Moto 7, Moto 8. Okay, and the telemetry pad if you needed that, but we don't need that because we already have bidirectional D shot. Looking at the connectors, these are the LEDs, the four LEDs. Okay, this is for the ESC. This is going to be for the DJI connector or air unit, depending on what configuration you want. This is for the VTX. So if you have your TX800 uh, SpeedyB, that would be great to just connect directly. This is for your RC link. So you have Crossfire or Express RS or Trace, so you can just plug it in directly, no problem. Okay, and this is for your camera. So I really think you can get away with just using the connectors, zero soldering, and you're ready to fly. So if you've got your LiPo checker, don't worry, PD has you covered. Again, it basically they throw in everything but the kitchen sink. The LEDs here indicate 75 to 100%, 50 to 75, 25 to 50, and there's 25 or less. So basically, I think between these colors, the first three, you're fine, but the bottom, uh, but the bottom LED, if you are that way, do not fly, okay? Okay, now look, take a look at this beautiful, beautiful ESC 50 amp with a CNC heatsink, okay? So I do like the fact that you can still see inside some of the ESC is fully covered. I don't, I'm not sure how they can get the airflow, but this one is really thinking about the airflow. So let's look at the back. So the ESC is built in with a TVS protective diode. So this is its TVS diode right there. So you can connect a capacitor with another external TVS or you can just rely on the TVS diode that the ESPDB has already put in. TVS diode basically cuts off the limit of voltage, okay? With the capacitor, it absorbs spikes, 
right? But the TBS diode just cuts it off so it doesn't exceed a certain limit. So to me, if you had to choose between the two, TBS diode would be your number one choice, followed by the capacitor, or best really is to have both. And most importantly, this ESC is capable up to 128K PWM. So what does that mean? It actually means that you can set the frequency when you're, in, when you're on BL32 by RPM so you can use the software of the ESC to vary between 24K all the way up to 128K depending on the mode, depending on situation you're on. It automatically adjusts according to your low throttle, high throttle, according to the RPM of the motor and then rather than set it at 24 or 48 and 128k and risk hot motors bl32 will do it for you and with this esc cable to go up all the way 120k you have all the power that you need and this is real 50 amp speedyb has done multiple tests with two uh, with pilots of hundreds and hundreds of flights and they've done real tests to actually test 50 amp for continuous okay so this i do believe that this is as beefy as you can get um, 55 amp burst current right and then it comes in with a 1500 microfarad capacitor which I personally think it's too big what I would probably do is just uh, change that with a 50 volt 470 microfarad because what you find is quite difficult to fit in certain frames all right we have all of the cables RX BTX GPS cables okay and then also we have the cables for the camera cables okay so many cables quite thoughtful of speedyb and of course the esc connectors and this is the esc connector ac to fc and this is the connector to dji okay air unit right and grommets okay so you've already have grommets on the esc you already have grommets on the flight controller but they still throw in grommets extras and extra uh, rubber spaces okay so that's great I really love speedyb uh, in terms of thoughtfulness because they really think through what everybody needs for the build not much to be said 30 by 30 the greatest of all time f7 v3 plus the speedyb 50 amp real 50 amp ESC with CNC heat sink it is premium price but it is for you guys who want the best so thank you very much for staying right to the end like and subscribe. <laughs>